Alatadid Yamathapada, was a powerful ruler of Kashmir in the 8th century, who is being credited as undefeated king of Kashmir, who tasted victory everywhere he went. The 12th century chronicler, Kalhana characterizes Lalataditya as a world conqueror, crediting him with extensive conquests, and phenomenal powers in his Rajatarangani. However, Kalhana's account is not supported by the records of Lalataditya's neighboring rulers. The Tang dynasty chronicles present him as a vassal of the Tang emperor. As a result, several other scholars have dismissed Kalhana's account as legendary exaggeration. Despite these exaggerations, Lalataditya is generally accepted as the most powerful king of his dynasty. He commissioned a number of shrines in Kashmir, including the now ruined, Martan Sun Temple. He also established several towns, including a new capital at Parihasapura. Kalhana describes Lalataditya as a universal monarch, who spent most of his life in military expeditions. His reign lasted for 36 years, 7 months, and 11 days. Lalataditya invaded the Antarvedi country, whose capital was located at Gadhipura. The defending king, Yashovarman submitted to him after a long war, and offered a peace treaty. Lalataditya's victory over Yashovarman appears to be historically true. Historical evidence suggests that, the two kings were immediate neighbors before their conflict. Lalataditya's empire extended up to present day Punjab in the southeast, while Yashovarman's northeastern frontier included parts of present-day Haryana. As a result of this defeat, the land of Kanyakbuja located between the Yamuna River and the Kalika River, came under Lalataditya's control. The early historians have overrated Lalataditya's success against Yashovarman, the defeated king acknowledged Lalataditya Suzi Ainti for a short period, but became practically independent, when Lalataditya became engaged in other conflicts. Lalataditya became king of Kashmir at such time, when western invasion started, an Arab had occupied province of Peshawar, Multan, and Kingdom of Sindh. He faced threat from Arab king, Mohammed ben Qasim, to occupy Kashmir and central India. Showing his bravery, Lalataditya first choice to tackle couple of conventional enemies, and fought the Kabhojas and Deridas. With the support of Yashovarman, he defeated the Arabs, and stopped from entering Kashmir. The defeat of Arabs was not simple. It involved diplomacy policy of Lalataditya. He approached the Tang dynasty, which was at the top of power during the 7th century, but lost several central China territories to Tibetan Empire. Lalataditya managed to convince him in fight against Arabs and Tibetans. Advanced infantry armor, and heavily armored Sasanid Chinese cavalry, were provided by the Chinese ruler, and the two defeated Tibetans. The Arabs were ordered to shave off half-heads, as symbol of submission, and Lalataditya went on to conquer Dardistan, and some parts of northeastern Afghanistan. Lalataditya, thereafter invaded Turkestan via Kabul, and defeated Mamun Bokhara in all the four wars. The ruler finally surrendered to him, and agreed paying taxes as a respect. After all such successful wars, Lalataditya expressed desire to conquer the world. He acquired most of the places in India. His kingdom extended to central China, and so he was compared with Alexander the Great. Lalataditya conquered present-day Bihar, Bengal, and Odisha. He marched to Gata, after defeating Yashovarman. There, he defeated the later Gupta ruler, Jivathagupta, and then advanced up to the Bay of Bengal. Yashovarman supported Lalataditya in these campaigns as a vassal. Yashovarman's courtier, Vakpati credits him with victories in eastern and southern India. Bhavagana, wife of the rash Trakuta king Indra, acted as a queen regent for her son, Dantadurga after Indra's death. Her rule was threatened by her brother-in-law, Krishna. As a result she appealed Lalataditya for help, who arrived in Deccan and fought on her side. Lalataditya returned to Kashmir, when the Tibetan king, Mianitsam invaded Kashmir. During the return journey, Lalataditya passed through Chittorgarh, Marvar, and Thinsar. The legendary Guhila ruler, Baparaval of Chittorgarh, served Lalataditya as a vassal, 
and died fighting in the Kashmiri king's Central Asian campaigns. During the last phase of his rule, he became the most powerful king, and gained enormous wealth. His military was most powerful in India and Central Asia. His kingdom extended from Tibet to Iran, and to Turkestan. Lalitaditya has been credited with building several towns and cities during his rule. One of the most known and beautiful one was, his capital city Parihaspur. Martan's Sun Temple was built by Lalitaditya, in the 8th century. In the early 15th century, it was destroyed by Muslim ruler Sikandar Shah, and the demolition last for about a year. Lalitaditya, was succeeded by his sons, first Kavali Upada and then Vajradatya. Kavali Upada was a son of Queen Kumladevi, while Vajradatya was a son of Chakramardika.